Yo, what's good guys? Today we're going to check out a selection of mouse pads from a new brand called King Jade. I've got to test five different models, each named after figures from Chinese mythology. And apologies in advance for my pronunciation of these mouse pad names. So I've got to take a look at the Zorong, the Zulong, the Xiuqian, the Fuxi, and the Liu Li. Right off the bat, I have to say that I really like both the Fuxi and Liu Li the most. In fact, the Liu Li is so impressive that I would consider it one of my all time favorite mouse pads. So let's start taking a look at what all of these pads have in common first. Each pad arrives flat and double packaged, which most likely ensures that it won't be creased after shipping. And as for the sizes, all of the pads I received are in the size XL, which measure 490mm in height, 500mm in width, and 4mm in thickness. Also all of them feature a soft power on base with a quick rebound. The pads also grip exceptionally well to the desk, so you won't have any trouble with them sliding around. Also the stitching on each pad is slightly recessed below the surface and it feels very tight. However, I did notice a slight issue with the stitching on my Zulong pad where it appears to be a bit uneven. Regarding the design, all of the pads feature the same logo for a consistent look. My only concern is that the logo slightly protrudes from the surface, making it noticeable under your mouse. This also increases the risk that it might peel over time. As for the surfaces, this is where the mouse pads differ in feel, speed and color. So let's review them starting with my least favorite and working our way up to my top pick. First up, we're going to take a look at the Zurong. It's designed as a control pad for tactical shooters. It has an ultra soft, almost plushy feeling surface with embedded silver threads that shine through the grey colored surface. In my experience, it has a relatively high static and dynamic friction with a lot of stopping power, which gives it a mud pad feel, especially when you use full size skates. And as someone who mainly uses class mouse pads, I found this pad to be very restrictive when aiming, making it my least favorite of the bunch. And this brings us to the Zulong, which is pretty similar. It features an uncut coated soft feeling surface that's water repellent. I got it in this faded looking red colorway and in terms of speed it sits between a balanced and a control pad. It shares that mud pad feel when it comes to the static friction, especially during those vertical movements. However when swiping across the horizontal it definitely feels like it has less dynamic friction than the previous pad and I found this to be a weird combination wherefore I also didn't like this pad. And basically after skipping those first two pads the next pad is where things start to get more interesting, the Xiu Qian. It also has a relatively smooth surface, but it feels a bit rougher than the previous two and I got it in this black colorway. Unlike the others, it strikes the right balance between static and dynamic friction. The static friction is smooth, allowing for easy micro adjustments without the tugging sensation of the earlier pads, while still providing you with some control. As for the dynamic friction, it offers a fast and smooth glide that's easy to stop. It reminded me a lot of wall hex MO that I've reviewed before, but with a less rough surface, so personally I would consider this as a solid balance pad. And now let's discuss one of my favorite pads in the mix, the Fuxi. I got it in this very vibrant red colorway and using it in-game instantly reminded me of the Artisan Zero and the ESP Tiger Tang Dao in terms of static and dynamic friction. However, the Fuxi surface feels buttery smooth to the touch without the hair catching issue that the Artisan Zero has, which is why I would likely choose it over the other two. So this mouse pad is definitely the control pad of this lineup that I can highly recommend for those of you who want a well-balanced and consistent static as well as dynamic friction without that muddy or tugging feel. And lastly we have the Liu Li which stands out as the most unique by far and the fastest of the five. It has a glass infused surface that offers a completely different experience. At first I was worried it might be disappointing like the glorious elements ice from a while back but I was pleasantly surprised how similar it feels to a glass pad in terms of speed and slipperiness. With dot skates the Liu Li truly shines in my opinion. It offers a smooth air hockey like experience with extremely low static and dynamic friction while retaining the benefits of a cloth pad. And unlike class pads, it doesn't cause PTFE shaving, dust and particles remain imperceptible during use, and it's also much quieter than any class pad I've ever used. Another benefit of this pad is that you can gain better control by applying pressure to your mouse. But I have to mention that the class padding gives this poron more of a medium softness feel. The only downside I could find on this pad is the tendency to show fingerprints, which makes it look dirty after each use. Luckily cleaning this mouse pad is super easy easily, you can wipe over it with a damp towel or with a dry cloth towel. And as I've mentioned before that I'm a class pad enthusiast, I found the Liu Li to be a refreshing change and I've added it to my main mouse pad rotation, primarily use it on those days where my aim feels inconsistent or class or when I have the feeling that my mouse control is shaky. 
It perfectly balances those inconsistencies, which is a reason I really like this mouse pad. And that actually wraps it up already for this quick overview of the King Jade mouse pads. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and also make sure to check out my shorts for quick unboxing videos of new gear.